was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we get started, I gotta go ahead and say thank God for another day and another opportunity. And as y'all can see from the looks of the title in the screen, today I put together a very special build for y'all in which I'm gonna be naming the Lockdown of Doom, also known as the best Lockdown Defender this year, gonna be coming out to the two-way inside the arc threat. Now for this build today, we're gonna be making it out of the small forward position, and out of all NBA players, this one today is gonna be reminding me of Indiana Pacers' Ron Artest. Now with this build today, it's gonna be very special. We have the potential to reach a 99 plus when it comes towards our standing dunk, Perimeter defense, steal, mid-range shot, and stamina. Now that also makes it one of the best offensive builds on this game. And we're also going to be able to get elite standing contact dunks with a total of 52 badges. Now overall, I truly do believe that this is going to be the best lockdown to make this year. It's a great build, especially when it comes down to our comparisons. You can take this into the threes in really any game mode. Offensively, this is an elite build and all around at the small forward position. And the physicals are really a strong point. So look, before we get any further, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, smash that like button, turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family, and last but definitely not least, comment down TG for thank God King Jesus and where you're tuning in from, and I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with a response. So the very first thing that you want to do to get started is put this build under the small forward position. We're actually going to leave this at the height of 6'7". Go ahead and max out our weight to 250 with the wingspan being all the way brought up to 7'4". Now this is what we're going to be looking like moving forward with today's build. And the first area that I'm diving into is going to be our physicals. So for that speed, let's go all the way up to an 81. Getting into the acceleration, I'm going to go maxed out to a 74. Go with a 92 when it comes towards our strength as for that vertical i'm gonna go with a 75 and then moving into the stamina i'm gonna make sure that i go all the way up to a 99 now this is going to be key for any lockdown defender build and do take into consideration the plus four that you get from your four stars on the gatorade facility workouts so we'll maintain that 99 stamina also a 79 vertical 96 strength 78 acceleration with an 85 speed now these numbers are perfect to move forward into the rest of the build, so let's go ahead and first get started with the interior defense. Go up to a 61, for that perimeter I'm gonna go up to a 94. Getting into the steal, I like this best at a 91, and then moving into the block let's go all the way up to a 78. As for that defensive rebound, let's go with a 78 here, and this is what we're going to be looking like moving forward for the defensive side. Now as you can see with these badges, we get Silver Box Out Beast, Bronze Pogo Stick and Rebound Chaser, also moving into the block we get Anchor, Pogo Stick and Silver Chase Down Artist. As for that steal, it's going to be key to unlock Gold Glove Interceptor with Right Stick Ripper, also when it comes towards our perimeter defense. You get Silver Fast Feet. Hall of Fame off-ball pass to workhorse, challenger, ankle braces, and 94 feet with gold clamps and pick dodger. Now getting into that interior, a little bit more of the same, but I do think bronze anchor is going to be key. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this side of the ball. Is there anything that you would possibly change to make this build a little bit better? However, overall, I think it hits on every single aspect of attribute when it comes to getting certain badges as well as requirements. Now from here, let's go ahead and move into the shooting. So for that mid-range shot, I'm going to put this all the way up to an 87. That's going to be maxed out. As for that three-pointer, let's go with a 76. And then moving into our free throw. I'm going to go all the way up to an 81. Now look, we get free points on the silver tier. As for that three-pointer, you get silver blinders, a dead eye. Also going to be able to get corner specialists, green machine, space crater, and spot finder. You also will get claymore with whistle. And then we're going to get other badges like gold open looks, guard up. Also including catch and shoot with hall of fame comeback kid now for that mid-range shot this is where things do get a little bit more competitive we're gonna get gold midi magician pairing it up with guard up and open looks i think personally is going to take this build over the top especially at the lockdown position 
Now, overall, you're still going to be able to hit shots from deep with this rating of a three-pointer. However, I think if you activate your takeover, buy boost, and wear gear, that's going to make this build a whole lot better. Now, from here, let's get started with the finishing. So, as for that standy dunk, let's go all the way up to a 99. As you can see, moving into the rest of this area, let's go with a 70 for the close shot, 64 when it comes towards our driving layup, and then for that dunk, I'm going to leave this as is. Now, as you can see, we get Hall of Fame Precision Dunker, Fast Twitch with also Rise Up and Gold, Aerial Wizard. Now, we're also getting other badges like Bronze Bunny, Two Step, Silver, Spin Cycle, and Whistle once again. For that driving layup, we get a lot of badges here. Bronze Freeless Finisher, Acrobat, also getting scooper, but then you get float game. But then once again, we will get badges like gold pro touch and silver giant slayer. For that close shot, a little bit more of the same. I truly think this build hits perfectly in any area that you could possibly go after. Let's wrap everything up with the playmaking. So go ahead and put that pass accuracy all the way up to a 69. Now you'll have one extra remaining attribute. Put this towards your speed with ball. And as you can see, we get bronze dimer. Relay Passer, Special Delivery, and Break Starter. Now look, once you take into account activating your takeover, that's going to be easily a plus 10. Now on top of that, if you wear gear that's anywhere from a plus 1 up to 4, buy your own boost, and even the better you play throughout each game, 2k will give you a minor boost. A lot of these attributes, for example the pass accuracy, will go up into the high 70s. High 80s for that 3-pointer, 99 for that mid-range, of course this standing dunk and interior defense possibly will go up into the 80s. For the perimeter and steal, these are definitely going to hit 99. 80 plus when it comes towards the block and defensive rebound. And the physicals with the strength, I'm telling y'all, makes this one of the most overpowering builds on the offensive side, especially with this high standing dunk. Now the weight is really going to help us out when it comes towards that defensive end as well. I want to know if there's anything that you would have done to make this build better. Let me know right now in the comments and I'll definitely take that into consideration. We get a total of 9 Hall of Fame badges, 14 gold, 14 silver with 15 bronze. Now from here let's go ahead and move forward to make sure that everybody made this build correctly. We should have gotten these 3 different comparisons and as y'all can see, together we have created the Lockdown of Doom also coming out to the 2 way inside the arc threat. Now I really enjoyed this comparison of Ron Artest made a world peace. Add everything up over what I previously did mention when it comes to activating boost and you have a whole lot of potential to look forward to when it comes to today's build. Now I just want to say thank you for your support. God bless every single one of you and if it was your first time coming through be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Smash that like button Turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family. And last but definitely not least, comment down TG for thank God King Jesus and where you're tuning in from. And I most definitely will be sure to get back to you with a response. And with all that being said though, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.